Well, last week's poor performance on Wall Street was just one example of the kind of panic coronavirus has created around the world. Action News reporter Maggie Kent spoke with a counselor today. She's live along the Ben Franklin Parkway with more on how to quell that unnecessary anxiety surrounding the virus. Maggie? Mm -hmm. Good evening, Erin. Yeah, lack of understanding can cause anxiety, and that's what it all comes down to. We spoke to a counselor who says seek out the actual data. He gave us some tips on how to quell that anxiety. With the number of reported cases of coronavirus rising in the U.S., there's a sentiment of caution and for some even worry about catching the virus known as COVID-19. So if you don't really have all the facts, that's when you become anxious. Uh, it's, it's just one of those things we feel like we really don't know enough about it. And this is what, what's causing the anxiety. I hope not, that sometimes yeah. panic is very, uh, like, much more uh, severe than the virus itself. Miranda Zhang says if coronavirus seems to be spreading rampantly in the U.S., she'd consider going back to China, where quarantines make her feel almost safer. Like, they restrict people going around to, like, the cut the transmission of the virus. So I think it's better control there. Mark Sigmund is a counselor and has some tips for dealing with anxiety, especially in this time of heightened vigilance. You have to challenge the thoughts because um, with catastrophizing and blowing things up in our head, um, it's easy to go down that road. Um, but you have to challenge it. You have to look at the data. Data shows here in the U.S. flu virus has proven to be more common and more deadly. You know how many people die from the flu every year? So I guess that's why I'm not too worried about it just yet. The best thing to do, keep up with cleanliness. Just washing my hands and making sure that everything that around me is sanitized. To beat out anxiety, arm yourself with information. You have to kind of reassure yourself with the actual facts. And that's why we're standing outside of the public library here on 19th and Vine. It is where a public information session will happen at 6.30 tonight. It's open to the public, and there will be doctors from the D Division of Disease Control here to answer any questions that you might have. We're live along the parkway. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Maggie, thank you.